Tonight, I regret to inform you that New York City police officer Randolph Holder, 33 years of age, badge number 13340, a five-year veteran of the New York City Police Department, was killed in the line of duty, murdered. He was pronounced dead at 1022 this evening in this hospital. He is the fourth New York City police officer murdered in this city in the last 11 months. Tonight, as so many of our officers always do, he and his partners were responding to gunshot calls. And around 8.30 p.m., he and officers assigned to the Housing Bureau PSA 5 were responding to shots being fired in the vicinity of East 102nd Street and 1st Avenue in the East Harlem area of Manhattan. Officer Holder was appointed to the department in July of 2010. He is 33 years of age, unmarried. His family is here, his father, also Randolph Holder, is a native of Guyana, as is Randolph. Randolph is an immigrant to this country, he joined the New York City Police Department after moving here. His father was a police officer in Guyana, and his grandfather was also a police officer in Guyana. So three generations of police in this family, and now the latest generation served here with us in the New York City Police Department. And tonight, did what every other officer in the NYPD does. When the call comes, he ran toward danger. It was the last time he will respond to that call. And on behalf of the 35,000 men and women of this department, police officers and our 17,000 civilians, I extend our deepest condolences to his family, and especially to his father, who in his time of grief sought to comfort the officers from PSA 5. He was strong enough and brave enough to go in and address them as they tried to comfort him. He, in fact, was comforting them. An extraordinary individual, and I can understand his son and the bravery his son exhibited tonight, rushing toward danger and giving his life for the citizens of New York City.